This is a new way, I hope, to convey ideas about how things can be accomplished using the Macintosh. Uh, in this case, I'm going to take an Audacity file that I have created, and I'm going to save it as an MP3. Then I'm going to save it also as an Audacity file, putting both in the same folder. And that folder is a project folder for a Sound Slides production. When I get everything in there, I'll launch Sound Slides, import these two, and then export the sound slides file as a uh, QuickTime file so it can be posted to the FTP site. So here's the dummy Audacity file, hasn't been saved yet. We're going to export as an MP3. It says down there that's this default. I'm going to give it a name, and the name will be Sunk Roads. Oops, alright, I'm going to use a character not leave spaces. Sunk Roads Audio. And I'm going to put it, this is how you navigate to that. The user of this machine, the guy who logged on is Tom, and this is what Tom's desktop looks like. If I click there, in this next window I'll see everything that's on my desktop. It's the same stuff you see here, but this is just a different way to look at it. One of the things on the desktop is a folder called Sunken Roads. And it's already got some JPEGs, a folder of JPEGs in there. I'm going to add to that this MP3. Okay, now before I stop, I'm going to save this also as an Audacity file. The only reason to do that is I may want to come back and re-edit it, and it will just be one less step to work directly in Audacity. It warns me that Audacity files are only good for Audacity. That's okay. And I'm going to put it in the same place, on the desktop in Sunken Roads, right beside this MP3. And this time the format is Audacity Projects, AUP. I need to give it a name. I'm going to give it the same name as before. Even though it's the same name, its ending is AUP instead of MP3, so there's no conflict. I'm going to close Audacity. Now, if you lose files, the easiest way to find them, but watch, there's one little trick to this, is to go to Spotlight, and this, I started typing, and it showed me the top hit is this Sunk Road Audio AUP. Now, if I just hover the cursor over it, it will show me a tract of how to find it. That's what I want to do. If I were to click on this, it would open it. I don't want to open it. We've just been there and done that. So that's the Audacity file. Now, an MP3 is considered a music file, so it's down here in the music category. And again, if I hover, it will show me where it is. If I double-click on it, it would, or even single-click on it, it would open Audacity convert it to an Audacity file, and I'd just be going in circles. That's, I don't want to do that. Okay, so anyway, it told me that they are in here, and there they are. Now, this file, just ignore. It's a pile of data. That's how Audacity handles information. We don't need to worry about it. This is the one we're going to want to import into sound slides, as well as this one. So, I'll launch sound slides. It'll be a new project. We're going to call it Sunk Roads and put it right here, just like the rest, inside of this Sunk Roads folder. If you want to see more clearly where that is, Desktop, Sunk Roads, all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to call this Sunk Roads, I like to use SS for Sound Slides Project. Okay, we'll save it. Ask me to upload the JPEGs. I'm going to go here, there they are. Test JPEGs. And then I'm going to upload the sound. Sunk Roads Audio MP3. And I can play it. Okay. I am going to try to create something of a dummy MP3 file to go with this demonstration.
this needs to go on for a little while and then we can stop, which is now. Okay, so that sounds fine. So what I'm going to do is export. It asked me how it... Ah, okay, that was a different kind of export, sorry. That's, that export is to create a version of this that can be posted to the web. So that's fine, we've done that. It's already finished. But what I really want to do... Oh, sorry, here's what you do. Plug in. Plug in and this will export it as a QuickTime movie. We want full size H264. We'll create the video. Sorry about the wait. Tried to pick something short. So when it's finished exporting the movie, it will have put a file with the extension .mov in the sound slides project folder. Okay. I am going to try to Okay, so let's go check that. As the sound slides project folder. I'm going to change the view so I can see it as a list. And in the project folder, sounds slideshow.mov. That's what we just created. If you take a look at it, uh, it's a fairly good size, I guess. 2.1 megabytes, very short. There's also, that's all, really all we need. That's the, the thing that we want to upload to uh, the FTP site, and hopefully we've got a finished product. That's all. I hope this is a more useful way of showing things. You can back it up and go forward using the slider if you want to see something again. Thank you. That's all, folks.